I'm Zachary Fowler, and you're watching Fowler's Makery of Mischief. Oh, yes. Beautiful day in Maine. We're home from Vermont. I got my lovely assistant, Sarah, with me again. Hi. <laughs> and we are down in friendship today. We're gonna find ourselves some oysters. We're gonna make some oyster Rockefeller on the beach. We also stopped along our way and dug up some Jerusalem artichokes and some dandelions. So we'll have some dandelions. Oyster Rockefeller uses um, spinach in the uh, making the Oyster Rockefeller. It's a cooked thing. We're gonna use the Dutch oven and do it on the beach. And it's gonna be magnifique. So let's see if we can't find those oysters. Find any? Not yet. She's already digging for them. Right here, there's some baby ones. Oh, some little ones, huh? Some really bonded into the rock right there, aren't they? We just need like three of these to have a meal, huh? Yeah. Oh, look at that. There's a big clam. Do that, I always have to eat it right away so it doesn't get dirty. I think I'm as gross as Zach. Right in the water. I think I saw. Oh, yep. As you, oh, empty. Nice one. Yeah. There we go. That's a nice one. What are we up to now? Uh, Four. <laughs> five. Five. Yeah. Five good ones. That's a start. Oh. oh, I found one just sitting right on top of the seaweed. Yeah, yeah it's kind of small. We'll uh, leave him for. We'll tuck him in so he can grow. Grow bigger. We'll come back for you next year. There you go. There's a nice fat one right there. Rock. There we go, nice fat one. He's not much longer than the other one, but he's thick, thick. Very good. Ooh. Oh, there's one. There you go. Look at that. One, two, and a little baby. Cool. All right, we got ourselves a bucket. We got like eight, maybe 10, but some of them are really good size. We know that there's also some over where we're gonna cook. So we're gonna head over there. And I think we're finding too that at the uh, higher tide line, we didn't find any. They seem to always be down there almost at complete low tide. So I'm guessing they do the best when they're out of the water the least amount of time when the tide is out. And they don't do so well uh, managing to latch onto a rock and survive up here. So let's head over, get a fire going, start our cook. Oh, 
What do you think one of these places down here costs? I don't know. Look at five million. A five million? Yeah. Five million for one of these little houses, little cottages. <laughs> I would take one in a minute. Yeah. I don't cry when it rains no more. Or I get dirt on my shoes. I don't mind climbing eight more floors. Cause these stairs are all head in the air. This has to be one of the nicest fire pits I've ever built. This perfectly giant stone right here. Oh, it's not quite level. Got us a nice warm fire, hon. <laughs> she says yay. <laughs> it's gonna need it. She's down there washing the greens. We can start prepping up some uh, food. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. We're living it up today. A pork rind panko at our oyster shucker. Pop all the stuff that we got to cut up. Shallots. Ha! <laughs> this is so cool. When it comes to the cooking stuff, I always have so much fun. The only times I get frustrated, and you can ask Sarah, is when it comes to the camera stuff. Sometimes the cameras can irk me so bad, and I just gotta bite my tongue, because I just, I wanna go full Incredible Hulk. I think it's a perfectionist in me, I get all carried away and I want it to be just right. So it was so nice when Sarah and I the other day were you know, in Vermont, and it's just like, Everything happened kind of randomly. You got the GoPro, you find some angles. I was like, if it works, it works. We make a video out of it. If nothing happens, we don't make a video out of it. We just had fun. Nothing makes me happier than cooking and eating wild stuff that we've caught ourselves, harvested ourselves. Today's a fun one because these are all easy main things. Jerusalem artichokes grow along the side of the road everywhere. Um, they grow in fields, they're just, all over the place. Got to get our shallots. Salt, cream, lemon. That cut. We got some truffle. We're gonna try on one of them or two of them. 
Mm. Yeah, that looks really clean. We got the oyster here. And if you look at them, you see one side's curved that way, and the other side curves over, and then this. Some more than others. Like this one, see it curves over and flattens out a little bit, and this side tends to curve that way. So I'm gonna find that joint, use the towel to hold it, get it in there, and slowly turn the blade, pops up the shell, so it opens up a little bit, then you find that you didn't go far enough. Boy, these stinkers, I did 10 of them, five or six of them, and then all of a sudden I do one on camera and it, they turn into a mess. There we go. Slipped in, slide your braid across, and cut where it's hooked onto the top. Right there is where it was hooked onto the top, so I slipped my blade in, cut it. And it's nice and, nice and clean. Looking oyster ready to go, ready to pop it right in your mouth or into our pot. Oh, those are gorgeous. There we go, that's about as many as I can fit in there as it is, that one's kind of overlapped. But we'll load them up with all the stuff, and then we can put it over the fire, it's gonna be awesome. Last ingredient to prep up. Some dandelion greens instead of spinach and the the head bud heads we're gonna throw those in with our bacon and our artichoke hearts those should be really delicious a little cream a little dash of cream on each of these a touch of truffle onto some of these for truffle flavor see if that makes a difference dandelion green Sarah's reminding me how bitter they might be, so we we'll try not to overdo it. Scoop of shallots on each of these. Sauteed in the butter. My fingers work best. Tried to use my little stick, but uh, probably they're probably burning already because we missed all the water. Ugh. There we go. Whew. Yank those off in the fire just in time. The water is just disappearing at the bottom. There we go. Now it's ready for some bacon. Lemon, a little bit of lemon. Oop, there's a little seed. Get that out of there. Mm. Your exception to lemon. I love lemon. I just don't like it on fish. On fish. Okay. Yeah. Mm. On oysters, horseradish, lemon, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, please, yes, please. Pepper, salt this whole thing. Pretty evenly would be good. And now breadcrumbs. And now the cheese. Yeah, it was just a hard chunk in your it was a It was a hard chunk of, we know that we were looking for a hard chunk of cheese, and this was a hard chunk in my fridge, but it's been in there so long, there's no wrapper, there's nothing. I would just do all the cheese. All the cheese, you think so? Okay. All the cheese, she says. Oh yeah. Cover it up now. I got our Dutch oven in there. I'll get it cover it with coals. Let me get the block on there. Yeah, it's nice and hot. Like too hot for me? Yeah. All right. Some bacon, some onions. Oh, can't breathe. Put these in. Ow, Bernie. Hey, that's the love oyster. <laughs> it is the love oyster. Yeah, you're gonna eat the top half and I'll eat the bottom half? Sure. All right. <laughs> Make the sound for you. <laughs> so good. So good, mm -hmm. yeah. You want me to open your side? Sure. Ah, good. 
Holy cow. Mm, that cow. is huge. <laughs> Wow, that is really good. Like, that is better than some of those farmed oysters somehow. I don't know if it's just the water down here in Friendship or what, that was. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how our guys are doing. Oh yeah, they're done. That looks amazing. Other stuff, I think, right? I love this little table. There's one of them. There's the other trouble one. There we go. Really nailed it. <laughs> oh, living in style, huh? Pretty much. In style. Oh. All right, uh, Lord, thank you for this food and this awesome day and the adventure. Thank you for oysters and uh, and people to share them with. In Jesus' name, Amen. <laughs> you have to excuse all our sniffling. The fire just keeps swirling around. We're uh, getting it right in the face a bunch of times. Mm. We did good. Mm -hmm. That was great. The dandelion greens. That Dutch oven did a good job. Yeah, yeah. And the dandelion greens are perfect. Yeah. They're not bitter at all. No. Nope. It, it has that same feel as the spinach mm -hmm. when you do it that way. I feel like we could open our own restaurant. Hmm. I think that's the truffle one. Which one? The big one. But mm -hmm. we'll save that for last. I'm gonna eat mine now. You're gonna eat yours now? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna eat yours now. I gotta see how you wanna see how the truffle one is? Mine's almost might be too hot. There's so much wow, there's so much meat to these. I was afraid I'd screw it up, so I'm not sure if it's gonna mm. you taste truffle? Mm -hmm. You do? Mm -hmm. Got my truffle one. Mm. I never knew I'd have to eat in front of a hundred thousand people. <laughs> <laughs> Was it? You never thought you'd be this eating? This not my dream. <laughs> Sarah's nervous about being on camera. Mm. So thank you guys for all your nice comments in the last video. That meant a lot to us that uh, everybody was very understanding. Just a couple of people were a little bit miffed, like, you know, like, what? He's got a girlfriend? Because <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I kept my private indoor dating life pretty darn secret. And so there, you know, a couple of years ago, I found myself divorced, not by my choice. And uh, after three years now, I found somebody I like to spend my time with. And I think she likes spending time with me too. I don't know. <laughs> Way to throw me under the bus there, honey. He pays me a lot of money. <laughs> no, I don't pay you anything. These <laughs> I don't think I can do it. I'll do it. I can't fit it in. I don't know if you guys ever on Facebook and stuff. Oh, we had all these other things we we're going to do to them. Oh, yeah. Oops. We had the maple adobo. We're going to put on the artichokes and uh, one of the hot sauce. Oh, I wanted the hot sauce on. Well, next time. Yeah. Next time on Fowler's Bakery Mischief, <laughs> we'll actually use the ingredients we brought. Mm. I don't know if you guys have ever been on Facebook and you see all these ads or on Instagram for mud. And you're like, ew. But it's made of mushrooms and all this stuff. And uh, I drink it every day. We've been, she's been drinking it with me. Like, we work out every day. And then 
Like we're like, oh, have our cup of mud instead of having more coffee late in the day. Mm -hmm. And it's, oh man, it's so good. It's you got, start craving it. Yeah, yeah. It's got chai, right? No, not chai. Uh, chaga, lion's mane mushrooms, all kinds of stuff in it. Just so good. We have it with a little, couple drops of stevia, makes it a little bit sweeter and brings out some of those spicy flavors. Like kind of, I said chai because it tastes like a chai latte a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm. Man, it's good. All right, guys. Well, that's it for us. It's been another fun adventure. Thanks for coming along. Thank you for all of you that have subscribed. And uh, thank you for all of you that have left decently nice comments below. For those that you didn't, you know who you are. And so does God. <laughs> Just saying. You know. <laughs> and uh, in a, uh, like two weeks, we got another video coming out. A big, long movie of our four days camping in the Everglades. We did uh, four days, three nights of Everglades adventures, going out through the Everglades, out into the ocean, and hammock camping on the islands out there, exploring fishing, and uh, being attacked by raccoons and other wildlife. So you have to check it out, and we'll see you in the next one. Fowler out. Okay, now turn off the camera. I'll get you on my shelf. Yeah, we gotta pack it up. We got other places to be. I gotta talk to do tonight. Today's episode is brought to you by Fowler's Makery Mischief.com, where every purchase is the beginning of a new adventure. And you can purchase all the things you see us using on our adventures, like the new maple adobo, my hot sauce, or the wonderful bushcraft chopper. <laughs>